AI generation we discover as an ancient myth of the Time Lords, where instead of a new body taking over from the old body, the new body separates from the old body and both are left alive. Action. By generation. It's a new thing. It's the 60th. Imagine how much fans love new things and will really rejoice when this happens. <laughs> Actually, I've had this idea for years. I've always wanted, instead of going back and meeting old doctors, uh -huh. I've always wanted the doctor to talk to his new version. <laughs> Why has it never been done before? How can you resist the two of them having an adventure at the same time? So the third of the Doctor Who 60th anniversary specials, The Giggle, introduces the concept of bi-generation, where instead of one body changing into the next one, the previous will still exist while the new one splits from the original, leading to a duplicate of the same time lord. Now in this video I'm going to try my best to explain bi-generation, what Ross T. Davis has recently confirmed about it, along with how it now impacts the Doctor's timeline, along with my own personal theory and trying to answer the question of whether or not it breaks the canon. So let's talk about it. So, by generation is referred to as a variant of regeneration which the Doctor had initially believed to be a myth. Instead of one incarnation directly transforming into the next, by generation caused the new incarnation to split from the previous, allowing the two to become independent beings. Some people have begun to theorise that this split regeneration may have been caused by the toy maker in his games. Whether that gets confirmed in future isn't known, but right now I think Rusty Davis has a lot to answer for regarding this. But I'm fairly certain we'll be receiving some answers in future, possibly with series 14 or a future story. However, as far as the concept itself goes, I think it's intriguing, seeing as it's something we haven't really seen before. Yes, we have seen regeneration as a concept evolve over time, going from different random effects to the expelling of energy we now know as the modern incarnation of it, but overall I think it's an interesting concept. I just hope we're going to get more answers about it eventually. This also seems to be the case with the TARDIS, as that went through a similar process where the next incarnation had to be split from the predecessor. This leaves 14 with a duplicate of the TARDIS, whilst 15 now has the original version. With some changes including a jukebox in the console room and the addition of a wheelchair wrap, which is pretty cool and gives me hope for Ruth Maybridge's character to become a future companion in another series. So this next point is something I'm going to have to go really in depth about because this is where things start to get kind of difficult to explain. In the Envision commentary for the giggle, Russ T. Davis suggested that the bi-generation affected the Doctor's whole timeline, so that previous incarnations may have actually continued to exist beyond their on-screen regenerations, supposedly explaining the age appearances of the Doctor seen in Tales of the TARDIS, these being the 5th, 6th and 7th Doctors from Classic Who. Now, what Russell says here has sent not just me, but also the entire Who fandom into a frenzy. Almost as on the same level when Chibnall made the Timeless Child Ratcom, but moving swiftly on. Now, I'm sure that RTD knows what he's doing, so I think right now it's best to sit back and see if he makes this theory canon later on. Now, if he does make it canon, then this could impact the Doctor's timeline in a massive way. But how does it affect the Doctor's quote-unquote entire timeline? And that's the part I've reached an almost conclusive theory on, and I'll get to that now. So the real question about Russell's theory is whether or not it breaks the canon of the show. I'm gonna say no, namely because I've managed to construct a theory around bi-generation that could possibly work. So we know that the toy maker has these bizarre powers, and the leading theory is that he caused the split regeneration to happen. But what if this bi-generation has had more of an effect than we realise? Now, my theory is that when the bi-generation happened, the toy maker accidentally caused the time stream to splinter into alternate tangents, wherein a specific Doctor never died and instead went on to continue adventures that would have been experienced by the succeeding incarnation. Let me explain. In each of these timelines, every incarnation of the Doctor when they're supposed to die instead bi-generates, where the body heals and they continue on with their adventures, which could have potentially led to two things happening. The first one leading to the aged incarnations of the Doctor, 5, 6 and 7 in Tales of the TARDIS, and number two, it leads to the possibility of a Doctor Who What If series. Now the reason I say this is for a few reasons. Now with the aged versions of the Doctor, it is more than likely that there's a reason for these incarnations looking somewhat older. The Sixth Doctor said in his episode with Perry that time marches on even for a Time Lord, and the Seventh Doctor in his episode with Ace says that time streams are funny things, where in some he regenerates and in others he doesn't, and the idea that this leads to alternate timelines could stem from those specific ideas. Timelines wherein these Doctors specifically don't meet their respective fates and instead continue on with their adventures could even alter the timelines even more. In the case of the 
the Sixth Doctor, for example, this could see him taking on the Imperials and the Renegades during the Dalek Civil War, and in the case of the Seventh Doctor, his survival during the events of the TV movie could see him recruited by the Time Wars to fight the Time War, as I think he would have been easily persuaded as opposed to the Eighth Doctor, who wanted nothing to do with it. And if you look at the modern Doctors, there's also a lot of possibilities. A timeline wherein the Ninth Doctor survived the ending of Parting of the Ways and we see him go through a lot of Tenant's earlier stories. Or maybe in a timeline where we see the Tenth Doctor meeting Churchill and facing the Weeping Angels with Amy and River. I think there's a lot of possibility and there's the chance that these parallel timelines could have been caused by that by generation. As 1570 in the episode, it's apparently a myth and that the toy maker forced this regeneration to happen, maybe it had some other unintended consequences. But in conclusion, I still think by generation as a concept has some legs, as long as we can get more of a simplified explanation as to how exactly it's meant to work. As in, now that there's two doctors after they giggle, does this mean that each of them has only one heart and can't regenerate? Or is this leading to something a lot more complicated? But that's a theory I'm going to say for another time, as that's also something I'm currently attempting to piece together. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to like, comment and subscribe, and check out the community tabs for more news on upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.